Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Uh, apparently, welcome to Review Week, a week in which I review every single game I've ever played on the Xbox One. Uh, today, we are reviewing Evolve, the Evolve beta I have played actually a couple weeks ago, but it is still in my mind, it's still fresh, it's still new, and uh, watching over the gameplay that I'm going to show you guys, I really enjoy uh, this game, and it's not like the next Call of Duty or Halo or anything, uh, but it is a very fun game to play with friends, so let's talk about this in depth. There's not really going to be any structure to this, so it's kind of an open-minded conversation, and uh, yeah, first thing I want to talk about is the dynamic of the game, and uh, this is really, uh, it's it's not necessarily original you have one really big beast i think they call him the beast and he is trying to kill animals and evolve to become stronger in order to kill the four humans now the four humans only job is to kill the beast now you may think looking at this gameplay the beast is so big and massive and and crazy powerful that you know it's it's really about the uh, the humans trying to take down the beast in fact it's the contrary to that it's kind of uh, counterintuitive it's about the beast running from the humans and running from these uh, the four players and uh, it's actually harder to be the beast and be successful uh, rather than it is be the humans now of course uh, i played this game with beebs and kane as well as uh, no it's just us it was just us and just a couple random people that we found um and we had a bunch of fun what uh, there are a couple good things about that there are a couple bad things about it but for the most part it's it's a really fun game to play with friends and so if you're playing as the humans, you have four different characters you can be. You can be the assault class, which is just basically all the heavy weapons, and his job is to get as much damage onto the beast as possible, along with some other different type of grenades and, you know, secondaries and stuff, other uh, powers and that, that kind of thing. Uh, the, the next one is the medic that is in charge of shielding people, healing people, maybe reviving people. And then there is the tracker. This is most important. The tracker is in charge of, or no, the trapper. The trapper is in charge of uh, trapping the beasts. Uh, the trapper is probably the most important, the most overpowered player of the humans. Uh, even though I'm not disappointed to play any of the humans, I am excited to be the trapper because you have this kind of bubble bubble shield dome that you put over wherever you plant it and in order to trap the beast if you have a good trapper the beast has zero chance which is what i'll get to later kind of unfortunate but if you have a bad trapper then the beast pretty much wins because the beast is really fast he can get away from humans really quickly really effectively if he really wants to if he knows the terrain and everything and that's fun and the last one is Support. Support is a guy, I think he's actually the one that has the shield. And the medic, medic is the one that heals people. That would make more sense. Yeah, the Support guy is pretty good. I believe he sets down traps. Very, very annoying as the beast with those little puncture traps. Uh, again, really fun to play as these guys. And every time you're trying to uh, play these guys, and it's it, the downside of it is that if one of your teammates is bad, then it kind of ruins the experience, which is why I say it's best played with friends, because you're all on the same page, you can all talk to each other, and you can all strategize uh, for yourselves, and it's really fun that way. Um, what else? What else do I want to talk about? Yes, every single human can be individually ranked up. You yourself rank up, as well as the characters you play as the beast, as the trapper, as the assault guy. You each get better, better things as you move on. It's not quite like Destiny, where things are marginally better. But it's there, and it's it's a really nice way of kind of keeping players interested, just for that little touch more. It's a great little touch, and I think I think that's great. And as far as the beast is concerned, uh, you can be tracked. There is a dog that I think the tracker has, or the support guy has, or somebody has on the human side. This dog-like thing, it's a creature, it can sniff you out and follow you. However, if you uh, start sprinting or even walking normally, the humans can see your footprints. But as the beast, you can press B and you can sneak around and that is uh, making it so that the humans cannot see your footprints anymore, but the dog-like creature can still sniff you out. But the dog-like creature isn't the best, isn't the fastest, so sneaking around as the beast is very, very fun. There's a point in time, I may show it, hopefully I find it, uh, where I was running, 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 and then I, I sneaked around and I went around. Uh, the humans for a while and I was just I was going in circles maybe once or twice probably just once around a rock 
and um, the dog just went in circles, and I could hear over over my Xbox just uh, my friends Beebs and Kane going, nah, nah, the dog's just broken or something. He doesn't know where he's going. Meanwhile, I'm hiding behind a rock, and they just decide to press forward and move on. And and that's the kind of strategy cat and mouse game that's really really fun. It was so exhilarating to play as the beast. Uh, and the beast, your goal, your first goal, of course, is to kill the humans. But in order to do that, you need to become more powerful. Uh, which you do by killing creatures, eating creatures, and eventually you will evolve into something better. You can attribute more points to four different powers you have. You have like a ground pound, a rush attack, a fire attack, and just, I think maybe just a melee attack or a, a rock throw. That's what it is, a rock throw. And you can attribute different points to that, three points every time you evolve, I think. And uh, it's, it's a very good system, you get more powerful. If you are level three evolution, which is just the second time you evolve, then, um, then you're pretty powerful you have you have it going your way as the beast and that is a pretty even fight however like i kind of said with the humans the downside to this is that the trapper that bubble shield is insanely overpowered now i think you should have to have the bubble shield but uh, my victory our victory of the game was almost completely determined whether or not we actually managed to trap the beast of course there was a couple times where the beast killed us when the, when he was so powerful but what I would do in order to balance it is I would make the bubble shield a little bit bigger, you know, encompass a little bit more of the map so the beast has a little bit more time to run around and like regen its health or get some cover, or kind of sneak around, that kind of thing. Uh, just to make it more balanced and just to put less emphasis on the trapper's part of the team. And that's really the only downside besides there is one other downside is that as humans, it's kind of boring. It can get boring, I should say. The very first game we played after searching for like half an hour for a game, uh, it was like 2 o'clock in the morning, so we were searching for a long time. Uh, the humans are constantly trying to track the beasts, whereas the beast is trying to evolve and eat, which leads to the beast running away and acting like a camper. And it's really not that entertaining as a human to just walk around the map, oh there he is, oh he's running away, oh here he is, oh he's running away, trying to evolve, and then all of a sudden he's really powerful and then he takes you out and it's just not that rewarding as a human. What I would do in order to combat this is I would add a little uh, something extra for the humans to do in the meantime, you know, besides looking, just solely looking for the beast, give them an objective that may, might not be necessary but could be beneficial to them uh, in order for their victory, in order for them to be more powerful, or, or uh, you know, just to make it so that they're not constantly searching for the beast, and it's boring, and it's dull. And we had a game, the first game, like I said before, this guy just totally ran away the entire time. It was 20 minutes of looking for this beast, and we never found him. He kept on running away when we did find him, and it was not fun. So uh, any way you can combat that is gonna be a good thing you know even I when I was the beast I was like I want to like fight these guys but I don't want to lose so you know I'm gonna obviously go kill some creatures eat them up and and do that but other than that this is a very good game this is a very solid game I think it's a great party game if you and like three four of your buddies are just hanging out whatever put this in and uh, have some fun you know it's a good the maps are are big enough so that the beast can run around and kind of take cover and that kind of thing but they're they're not so uh, they're not so big that the humans get lost and it takes forever to traverse. You have a jetpack and you can travel really fast. And so the maneuvering of the map is not that big of a deal. Uh, I think it's fine. I think the weapons are cool and the little cutscenes play are really awesome. Um, one thing I will say, as the beast, you, you are in the disadvantage. And that dog, that dog-like creature, can revive people. So when you have... Beebs did this. It was so sad. He killed every one of us. He killed all four of us. Uh, when he was just uh, out the gate, the plain old beast, he didn't evolve at all, and we were just cracking up because Beebs actually managed to kill all four of us. But he forgot to kill our guard dog, our little dog-like creature, and so the dog just revived us all, and he's like, what? Where is the dog? He couldn't find the dog. And uh, maybe make it so that the dog doesn't count as a person, that if all four players are dead, then the beast wins, and you know, that's just a little thing. It was poor Beebs, he hates being the creature, and that's another thing. Uh, if you could choose which character you want to be, they have preferences, of course. But uh, Beebs never wanted to be the beast, and he was the beast a couple times, which kind of ruined his his experience of the game. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal if they kind of 
uh, changed it up the way it seemed random even if we had preferences it seemed kind of random who was the beast and who was the assault guy and who was this guy so you know that's my thoughts on evolve have you guys played evolved i think the beta is closed already alpha whatever it was uh i really enjoyed it i had a lot of fun i think it's gonna be a great uh, fun game to play with your friends so thank you guys so much for watching until the next absolutely a beautiful evolved day i will catch up with you guys later and as always have a great day